morning. So as I was sitting here enjoying my pre-workout meal um, before I head down and start my workout, I thought it would be a good time to just talk a little bit about macros and some tips for mastering them, um, what you can do. So anyways, um, before we start, I'll share what I was eating actually for my pre-workout meal. Um, we went on a float trip just this past weekend and picked these up. I just found them in, uh, I think we were in Walmart actually. And this turned out really good. And so I thought I would go ahead and use some for my pre-workout this morning to go with my latte. Um, and they're actually, I guess it is just protein biotic oatmeal. And it's only 140 calories per serving uh, with 21 carbs nine grams of protein and only four grams of fat so i went ahead and had two that's i'm working legs today and uh that was perfect it gave me a great amount of carbs to go with my workout to go with my pre-workout latte and i'm also drinking which is in another video and if you haven't already checked it out you should it's delicious uh it's definitely my treat that i look forward to normally in the afternoon i'm off today because like i said i just got back from a float trip so I'm doing my workout this morning instead of the evening, like is normal for me. So um, anyways, uh, let's, let's talk about macros. So tracking, first of all, in general, I, f I think is very important. Um, we all, no matter what, tend to underestimate, overestimate um, what we're eating, the amount of calories we're eating. And bottom line is everything you do, no matter what style you're eating, um, comes down to burning more calories um, than you're taking in. If you're looking for weight loss, you know, fat loss. Um, of course, if you're looking for gains, then you're want, gonna wanna be in a surplus. But regardless, you're gonna wanna track those macros, uh, whatever you're following. So whatever your macros are, whatever they're set at. But there's some tips to make that a little easier. So um, first of all, I like to front load. So there's a dessert that I have every night um, which I will make sure I do a video on. There's a couple of, I, I do like playing with desserts, um, but there's one in particular that I enjoy every evening. So that gets entered into, I use my fitness pal. There's many trackers, um, a lot of them, you know, they're di different ones people like differently. Um, but I put my dessert in first thing in the morning. So, and then I eat around that for the day. Um, so I'll know that there's always going to be room. I, I would hate to eat my dinner in the evening and run out of my macros for the day and not be able to get my dessert. That would make me very sad. So it gets entered first thing. Um, another thing is serving sizes. Um, I see a lot of people struggle and ask questions with servings because you don't need to do an entire serving, you know, just because you type in, um, you know, whatever, I don't know, um, oatmeal, you know, protein oatmeal into my fitness pal and it has one serving is so many grams. Well, you know, and you think, and in your macros that doesn't fit. Okay. You don't, you may not have 140 calories. You only have half of that. So take a half a serving and it's, easy math to figure out the grams that you need. So it gives you, almost every food gives you um, at least your weight in macros or your, well, it's gonna give you some sort of measurement. I tend to like to weigh in grams. Sorry, I think I said macros. I weigh in grams, <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm gonna just take, uh, this one actually doesn't. <laughs> I have the one example that just says one packet, <laughs> okay. Um, but anyways, typically, you know, it, it'll give you it in grams or whatever. And you're going to just multiply, or sorry, divide, okay? Um, if the serving size is 85 grams and you measured out 110, well, you're just gonna take that, your measured amount of the 110 divided by the serving size of 85 grams and whatever that comes out to be, I, I don't know, uh, I think it's somewhere around 1.3. Um, that's your serving size. So in that case, it would be over a serving. But, you know, you could easily 
if you only have, you know, you only want 50 grams of an 85 serving, 85 gram serving, well, you're going to take your 50 divided by 85 and you're going to get a decimal. You're going to get, you know, less than one of a serving and you entered as that. Um, you can convert, you can, th there's many easy conversions um, that are just kind of common too as far as grams versus ounces. Um, most common you'll see 85 grams is about three ounces. Those are just the equivalent. So if you bring something up, you want to track in grams and you have, you know, on MyFitnessPal or whatever you're using and it says three ounces, well, you can still measure your 85 grams. It's the same. Um, another common one is 112 grams is about four ounces. And you'll see that a lot of um, meats and stuff, that measurement. So it's an easy one, easy common one. Um, let's see, another, another tip is, so fats, all right, so in general, fats um, per gram is about nine calories, whereas your protein and your carbs are only about four calories per gram. So of course, you're gonna, ha you know, fat's more dense, it's heavier. Um, you're going to have less food there weight-wise for the amount of calories. So, you know, and, and some people like the higher fat, it keeps them full. You know, I like to eat, so I actually prefer more bulk of my food. So I eat a lot of veggies. Um, I like lettuce, um, things that are low calorie that are going to give, that are going to give me a large portion. So I eat a lot of big chicken salads. Uh, so for me, when I have to, because I have a minimum fat, um, I have a trainer that sets, you know, and, and my macros for me, and I have a minimum fat that I have for the, each day, and I have a minimum protein I have for each day. So, but I can't go over my calories. So to keep that, to hit my fat, sometimes I want to get in just what I need without going over my calories. So there are common foods that are basically, they're just fat and um, they're easy to get that in with keeping your calories as low as possible for the fat. Um, coconut oil is one that's good because you're not getting, you're basically, it's fat. I mean, you know, it's a, I guess you could say it's a good fat. I don't know how you, you know, how you feel about that. Um, there are there, there's definitely fats I prefer to eat, like coconut oil, nuts, and things, as opposed to, say, bacon. Not that you can't have bacon. I enjoyed bacon as well. Um, I just tend to, on a daily basis, you know, I, I prefer the um, unsaturated, I guess you could say, fats. Um, but, so coconut oil is definitely one that I'll go to. Um, macadamia nuts are another one that are basically just getting your fats in without a lot of carbs or protein that are going to also bump your calories up. And of course, if you can fit those, then yeah, there are a wide variety of foods, but those are easy go to instead of, uh, you know, I, I would much rather take a spoonful of coconut oil than a spoonful of mayonnaise at the end of the day to get my fats in. Okay. Don't ever do that. Um, it, coconut oil is easy to throw into my dessert too. So, you know, at, in the evening when I'm making that and I need to hit some fats, I love the flavoring of it. So I'll just add a little coconut oil into my dessert and boom, there I go. Um, another, so protein is another one um, that is easy. There are several foods that are just easy to get in there and bump your proteins up. Egg whites are definitely a staple. Egg whites and Greek yogurt. You can add that to anything. You can add it to desserts. You can add it to dinners, um, you know, savory meals, whatever. Um, I add egg whites sometimes to my protein latte when I want, you know, and they're pasteurized. I'm talking about the cartons of them. I wouldn't crack an egg and add that egg white. Now, if I'm going to cook, absolutely. Um, and, you know, if you need the fats and the protein, the whole egg, those are great too. But, uh, yeah, egg whites you can cook with, you can add into any of your already made things. Uh, I could have even added some of my egg whites into my protein oatmeal here and bump that up. Um, easy peasy. And Greek yogurt, you know, add some flavoring. I, I get the non-fat, um, fat-free group. <laughs> yeah, 
non-fat and fat free. Um, I get the non-fat plain Greek yogurt and that's what goes in my dessert in the evening along with some fruit and protein powder. Uh, and it's, it's perfect. It is basically it's protein. I, there are some carbs and stuff in there, but it is very high in protein and great source. Um, some other foods I think I had a few down here to remind me um, those are the main ones though yeah really so front loading is big um, yeah I think that's about it if there's any questions in particular that you're looking to have answered regarding macros or anything else um, throw me a comment uh, message me whatever I'm more than happy to share any tips that I have, uh, I enjoy manipulating my macros, playing with different foods, um, just experiment and see what works for you. And if you, if you're enjoying any of my videos, um, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and even better, go hit that subscribe button. That would be fantastic. So, uh, let me know what you want to see next. Thank you and have a wonderful day.